welcome back to Music and Munchies. My name is Marie Rose. So today I'm going to show you how to make a creamy, amazing, delicious vegan mac and cheese with coconut bacon. And am I the only one that gets like super geeked out and excited about vegan cheese? Oh, hi, we have a little guest. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about vegan cheese, huh? Oh, you, really? Oh, really? All right, you guys, so if you are ready, Moo, are you ready? You ready? Let's go make some vegan mac and cheese. Coconut bacon. Boo boo. Why are you so cute? Huh? All right, let's make some coconut bacon. Woo! We're going to start out with a quarter cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of liquid smoke, two tablespoons of coconut sugar or maple syrup. And make sure you don't measure over your bowl, folks. <laughs> Get about a teaspoon of smoked paprika and salt to taste. And then one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Then make sure you get unsweetened coconut flakes. I found this in the baking section of my local grocery store. You can also fi sometimes find them with like bigger flakes and it has kind of a cooler texture, but this works fine too. You know, you work with whatever you got. Make sure you mix that all together till it's all nice and coated. Like so. Then take a baking sheet and cover it with some more coconut oil. This will help the coconut flakes crisp up and add a little bit more of that fatty deliciousness that you get from bacon, right? Spread it all out on a sheet, pretend like you're going to use a spoon, and then ha <laughs> ha psych, we're just going to shake it and use our hands. <laughs> Put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and make sure that you stir it maybe every five minutes or so because it, it can burn, so keep your eyes on it. And this is the uh, final result here. It's delicious. You can put it on sandwiches, you can make a BLT, you can put it in a little glass jar like this. Oh, how cute. Look at that. And save it for later. But we're going to top it on our mac and cheese. Alright, so let's make our cheese sauce. Make sure you soak these guys overnight. That's about a half of a cup of cashews. And then soak some sun-dried tomatoes for a little bit till they get soft. And put two of those in there. And then a half of a lemon. I love this lemon squeezer, you guys. It's amazing. And about a quarter teaspoon of mustard powder. And if you have a high-speed blender, use um, sauerkraut. If you don't, then just use the water. This is optional. It just adds a little bit of a tangy flavor, which I like. And then about a tablespoon of arrowroot powder. You can also use cornstarch. It's just a thickening agent. And then three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This is where you get the cheesy flavor from. And then I use about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then roasted sweet potatoes. I really like using roasted sweet potatoes because it like caramelizes it, it gives it like a nice umami flavor, bring, you know, brings out the sugars, it tastes amazing. So that was about a medium sweet potato. And then to give it some color, you add about a fourth of a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then make sure you use unsweetened dairy-free milk. And I used about a cup of dairy-free milk. And then I think I ended up adding a little bit more water too. So kind of just keep an eye on it. And then you add about a teaspoon of salt as well. Once you blend it all up, put it in a pan and then warm it up because the heat activates the arrowroot powder and it starts to thicken it up like this. And once it's thickened and warm and amazing, then you add in your noodles. I, I love adding steamed broccoli to my mac and cheese. I always like to sneak in greens whenever I can. And then this is my little secret weapon here, you guys. To make anything creamier, I use just a little bit of vegan mayonnaise. It just like, oh, it just pops with a little bit more cream and just oh, gives you that like fatty satisfaction that you crave with mac and cheese. And here's the finished product. So just top it all off with some of that beautiful cruelty-free coconut bacon. So let me know what you guys thought. Did you make this? Did you love it? And if you 
made it, go ahead and tag me on Instagram if you take any pictures of it. I would love to see it. So thanks you guys for watching and until the next video, see you later. Bye!